So there's lots of issues there around leadership on the pitch and off the pitch for Camogie in the modern day. Yeah, and I, th I think, um, like to speak generally, I suppose, about women's Gaelic games, you know, like we sometimes forget that the women's Gaelic associations came from, I suppose, a, a place of self-determination to organise in a way to give to create those opportunities um, for, for young women to play Gaelic games. That, uh, that opportunity wasn't available. Uh, you know, when you think back of the foundation of the Camogie Association in 1904 um, and ladies football was founded in the 70s, like it's, 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 not, um, it's not a lie to say that sport was a man's world in those days. And it's not a lie to say that Gaelic Games was a man's world. Um, so I think the, you know, the women's Gaelic associations have done a, a Trojan job in changing that and creating those platforms and those opportunities for the women's codes now. Uh, to you know, to be to be strong um, in in organisation and strong in, in administration and strong, obviously, in terms of the quality of the play, which is the most important thing, and the experience of the play for the young players. But there's 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 always a road to travel, um, and as long as you know the intentions are are about continuing that development and building on the achievements and building on the efforts of generations of women. Um, you know, hopefully through a, a unified structure for the sports into the future that has gender equality and equality at its heart, things can only go from strength to strength. When you look at young girls now and you listen to them coming up and they're so confident and they're so aware of International Women's Day and they maybe don't articulate exactly what it is about it but they're aware of it and they're aware of Katie Taylor and Katie Harrington and Ireland rugby and the world, the world seems full of possibilities for them. Is Camogie part of that conversation? Most definitely. Um, you know, I think it, it's just fantastic to see the, 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 I suppose, the energy, the pride, the identity, um, the commitment, and then the actual kind of, that all being, if you like, expressed on the field of play by, by today's generation of players. Like, the standard of Camogie is going up and up and up, and that comes from that place. That comes from that sense of, identity that people have, that connection that they have with their local community, with their local club, um, and then obviously that for, for elite players, that being expressed through, through you know, representing their county and being, being proud to do so. Um, so I, I think there is, a, there is that sense of, you know, the possibilities, the future, um, and the growth of, of Komogi, um, even you know, beyond these shores. Like there's still an embryonic kind of game um, in, in Europe. Camogie's in Britain for a long time, but maybe needs to, needs to be supported to be stronger. Um, Camogie in the States is, is kind of a really interesting phenomenon in the way it's appealing to people of no Irish heritage at all. Um, Camogie in the Middle East and, you know, Camogie in Asia. So, you know, looking forward, I mean, it would, would be great to have the old crystal ball. And, and if you think of the sport being almost 120 years old, what would it be like in the next 100? Um, it, it's, great to, it's great to imagine what that could be um, and to have the sport as strong as possible across the 32 counties and then internationally as well. Um, I, you know, I think the days of maybe undervaluing women's sport are receding in the, you know, in the back mirror and, and long may it be so. Um, and, and I also think it's you know, I think Camogie and indeed other women's sports, you can uh, judge, appraise and assess them on their own merits. It's not necessary to always compare women's sport to men's sports. Men's sports isn't the standard for women's sports. Women's sports can create their own standards. Um, and I think that's, that's what's been happening um, over the years. Um, I, always, I always think it's kind of interesting, you know, when you look at the Olympics and there's obviously been, a, you know, it's been a tough old a campaign for women's athletics to be recognised in the Olympics. But nobody ever complete, you know, nobody ever compares the time a 100 metre male runner does compared to the time that a 100 metre female runner does. They're two different expressions of athleticism. And I think women's sports uh, are distinctive in that way um, and stand on their own merits very strongly. You know, Camogie is asking a lot more questions of itself about its future direction. I think players certainly have a much stronger sense of equality about themselves in society. Like many players are working in day jobs where gender equality is the norm. Um, they want that to be their experience of Gaelic games as well. 
Uh, so, you know, I think that's where, that's where the future development of the sport is, from that place of confidence um, into, uh, you know, a future for the next generation in the, in the 2030s, so to speak.